Hey learners, welcome to my channel. This is Pranshi Verma and in today's video we are going to learn Universal Human Values and Professional Ethics Unit 1 Short Answer Type Question and Answer. Guys, fill in the blanks type of question of Unit 1 from Universal Human Values and Professional Ethics I already uploaded on my channel. Kindly visit it and in this video let's start it. Now, in this your first question is define the following terms first term is values what is values values means importance or the participation okay the value of any unit in this existence is its participation in the larger order of which it's a part for example value of a pen is that it can write okay next Next term is human values. The value of a human being is the participation of human being in this order. Hence, to understand the human values, we need to understand the human reality along with all that is there is that exist existence constituting the larger order and the role of human being in the relationship with each and every unit in the existence. Okay. Next term is value education. Value education is character oriented education that instills basic values and ethics values in one's physique are called value based education. In this, a subject that enables us to understand what is valuable okay, for human happiness is called value education. So, here the definition is this sub subject that enables us to understand what is valuable for human happiness is called value education. Next term is self exploration. In this, self exploration is the process to find out what is valuable to me by investigating within myself. What is right for me, true for me has to be judged within myself okay so this is all about self exploration how to se explore yourself through self exploration we get the value of ourselves okay this is very important we live with different entirely family friends air soil butter trees etc and we want to understand our relationship with all these for this we need to start observing inside okay Inside observe kernel it's very very important. Next one is fifth one natural acceptance. Natural acceptance is a mechanism of self exploration. Natural acceptance is the process to understand our self first. Natural acceptance implies unconditional and total acceptance of the self, people and environment. Okay. It also refers to the absence of any exception from others. In other words, nature acceptance is a way to accept the good things naturally. Okay. Next term is experiential validation. Okay. Next term is experiential validation. Experiential validation is a process that, process that infuses direct experience with the learning environment and content. When what we already believe to to be true of us is validated by some situations, phenomena of outcomes, we may term it as experiential validation. It may be regarded as a philosophy and methodology in which the direct experience and focused reflection of the individual helps to increase knowledge, develop a skill and clarify rules, clarify values. Most of what we know about ourselves is not only through our own opinion of our of ourself, but also because of how others view us. Okay. Next one, next term is Swatva. In this, Swatva means innateness of self, the natural acceptance of harmony. When I identify my innateness, what I really want to be. Okay. Next term is Swatantrata. Swatantrata means being self-organized, being in harmony with oneself, 
when i identify my innateness what i really want to be and establish a dialogue with it okay it enables me to become self organized that is i attain harmony in myself this is swatantrata okay next term is swarajya very important swarajya means self expressions self extensions living in harmony with others when i identify my innateness what i really want to be and establish a dialogue with it it enables me to become self organized that is i attain harmony in myself when i start living with the harmony it starts expressing itself through my harmonious behavior and work and it naturally extends to my participation with the surroundings this is working towards swarajya okay next term is happiness means sukh hindi word is sukh happiness may be defined as being in harmony synergy in the state situation that i live in a state or situation in which i live if there is harmony in it then i like to be in that state situation the state of liking is happiness it's a holistic and all encompassing state of the mind that creates inner harmony okay next term is prosperity the feeling of having or making available more than required physical facility is prosperity for prosperity two things are required first one is identification of the required quality of physical facility is and second thing is ensuring availability production of more than required physical facilities okay so we can be prosperous only if there is a limit to a need for physical facilities if there is no limit what so even be the availability the feeling of prosperity cannot be assured secondly just accessing the need is not enough we need to be able to produce or make available more than the perceived the perceived need next term is right understanding very important understanding the harmony at four levels of living from self to existence this refers to higher order human skills the need to learn and utilize our intelligence most effectively okay next term is physical facilities subida okay hindi term is subida this includes the psychological needs of individuals and indicates the necessities as well as the comforts of life subida implies that it's looking for physical comforts and all the sorts of attaining such types of comforts okay next term is animal consciousness in this living of human being only on the basis of physical facilities and not with right understanding and relationship working only for physical facilities is living with animal consciousness and second one is living with assumptions for one self as body okay not to be i next one is 15 to 15 one is human consciousness in this living with all three right understanding relationship and physical facilities working for right understanding as the first priority followed by relationship and followed by physical facilities implies living with human consciousness and living with views of justice resolution and truth a third point is understanding human being as coexistence of self jeevan means i and body okay human consciousness and animal animal consciousness is very important topic in your subject next term is value domain in this value domain means the domain of wisdom this helps us to identify and set the right goals and to proceed in the right direction okay next term is domains of skills in this domain of physical means our competence or availability to learn methods and practice to actualize the goals to develop the technique to make this happen in real life in various dimensions of human endeavor okay so next question here of guys this is explain the process of value education answer is the process for value education has to be that of self exploration 
which includes two things first one verification at the level of natural acceptance and experiential validation in living self exploration is the process to find out what is valuable to me by investigating by investigating within myself what is right for me true for me has to be chosen within within myself okay through self exploration we get the value of ourselves various aspects of reality facilit reality facilitating the understanding of human values will be presented as proposals we need to verify these proposals for ourselves and examine our living in this light okay next question illustrate the content of value education why should be the content of value education to make it complete how do value relate to our day to day living okay answer is the subject that enables us to understand what is valuable for human happiness is called value education okay ye maine aapko pehle bhi abhi padhaya hai is lecture mein the scope of value education includes all dimensional included thoughts behavior work and realization and all label included individual family society and nature existence accordingly the content of value education will be to understand myself my aspirations my happiness understand the goal of human life comprehensively okay understand the other entities in nature the innate interconnectedness the coexistence in the nature existence and finally the role of human being in the nature existent entirely hence it has to be in compass understanding of harmony at various level and finally learning to live in accordance with this understanding by being vigilant to one's thoughts behavior and work okay next question question 20 here what is the content of self exploration answer is the main fo focus of self exploration is myself the human being content of self exploration is just finding answer to the following fundamental questions of all human beings first one is the desire goal and second one is program in desire goal what is my human desire what is my goal what do i really want to what what do i really want in life or what is the goal of human life okay next one program what is my human program for fulfilling the desire okay how to fulfill it what is the program to actualize the above in short the above two question cover the whole domain of human aspiration and human endeavor thus they form the content of self exploration okay question number 21 what do you understand by the terms swatva swatantrata and swarajya jo maine aapko pehle bhi bataya one line definition of swatva is swatva means innateness of self the natural acceptance of harmony next swatantrata one line definition is swatantrata means being self organized being in harmony with oneself okay next swarajya one line definition is swarajya means self expression self extension living in harmony with others okay next question so guys this is the leads to be swatva leads to be swatantrata and swatantrata leads to be swarajya okay next question is question 22 what do we what do the abbreviation given as svdd sstd and four times as signify okay guys this is very 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 important ऐसे क्वेश्चन अब तक सभी एग्जामिनेशन में आया है और मोस्ट ऑफ द चांसेस है इस क्वेश्चन से आपको अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन में मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन जरूर मिलेगा ओके सो इसको आप प्लीज ध्यान से पढ़िएगा इस टॉपिक को आंसर इज टू अचीव अवर बेसिक एस्पायरेशन वी नीड टू वर्क फॉर राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज द बेस वन विच वी कैन वर्क फॉर रिलेशनशिप एंड देन फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज टू डे आर नॉट वर्किंग अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस दैट्स वाई वी कैन say that there are two kind of people in the world first one those that do not have physical facilities wealth and feel unhappy and deprived that is sbdd okay what what is the definition of sbdd 
साधन विहीन दुखी दरिद्र एंड इंग्लिश मेचेरियली डेफिशियंट अनहैप्पी एंड डिप्राइव्ड और इंक्लूडेड इट दोस दैट डू नॉट हैव फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज बेल्थ एंड फील अनहैप्पी एंड डिप्राइव्ड ओके नेक्स्ट वन हमने लिया है दोस दैट हैव फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज बेल्थ एंड फील अनहैप्पी एंड डिप्राइव्ड दैट इज एस एस टी डी एस एस टी डी स्टैंड फोर साधन संपन्न दुखी दरिद्र मीन्स मेचेरियली अफ्लुएंट अनहैप्पी एंड डिप्राइव्ड ओके बट दीज आर स्टेट्स वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी इन बी बाट टू मूव फ्रॉम दिस टू थर्ड कैटेगरी दैट इज हैविंग फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज एंड फीलिंग हैप्पी एंड प्रॉस्परस दैट इज एस 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 साधन संपन्न सुखी समृद्ध means materially educated happy and prosperous okay so guys best category is third one four times s okay presently as we looked around we find most of the people in the above two categories called svdd and sstd while the natural acceptance of all human being is to be in the category of four times s s s s s s s स्टैंड फोर साधन संपन्न सुखी समृद्ध ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉट इज हैप्पीनेस म्यूचुअल फुलफिलमेंट इन ह्यूमन रिलेशनशिप इज समथिंग बी बॉन्ट बी एस पर फॉर एक्सप्लेन आंसर इज हैप्पीनेस मे बी डिफाइंड एज बींग इन हार्मनी सिनर्जी इन द स्टेट सिचुएशन दैट आई लिव इन ए स्टेट और सिचुएशन इन विच आई लिव इफ देर इज हारमोनी इन इट देन आई लाइक टू बी इन द स्टेट सिचुएशन ओके the state of liking is happiness happiness it is state of mind or feeling characterized by contentment love satisfaction pleasure or joy happiness may be described as consisting of positive emotions and positive activities there may be three kinds of happiness pleasure engagement and meaning in other words freedom from want and distress consciousness of the good order of things assurance of one's place in the universe or society inner peace and so forth happiness is a state of mind where we feel good in most of the bark of the life okay next question question number 24 what is the meaning of prosperity how can you say that you are prosperous answer is the feeling of having or making available more than required physical facilities is leads to be prosperity and its prosperity almost all of us feel the best alone means prosperity and try to explain this phenomena on the non existence or half fact we are trying to achieve happiness and prosperity by maximizing accumulation and consumption of physical facilities it's becoming anti ecological and anti people and threatening the human survival itself for prosperity two things are required first one identification of the required quantity of physical facilities and second one ensuring availability is production of more than required physical facilities okay when we prosperous only if there is a limit to the need of physical facilities If there is no limit whatsoever, with the availability, the feelings of prosperity cannot be assured. Okay. Secondly, just accessing the need is not enough. We need to be able to produce or make available more than the perceived need. Okay, guys. Now let's find out this lecture, guys. This lecture में हमने सारे important topic cover किए हैं human values से and ये video आपके लिए बहुत important है. Please आप इसको अच्छे से जितने भी टॉपिक मैंने इस वीडियो में पढ़ा है इसको आप अच्छे से कवर कीजिएगा फॉर एग्जामिनेशन विश यू वेरी वेरी ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन सी इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर बाय बाय प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोस